Okay, good morning class. How are you? I think that you are fine this morning. Okay, today, you know that today is the first day, the first day, first of March 2020. Today, our lessons is a grammar lessons and the title will be the ING form. V I N G form. Okay, we go on the lesson. Okay. Okay. The energy form. When do we use the energy form? The energy form can be used like a noun. As we see here, the noun like an adjective, an adjective or like a verb. That means what? We can use the energy form with a noun, with an adjective or a verb. Let's give some examples. The first example deals on the noun. Smoking is forbidden. Smoking here is a noun. So, N. Noun started by a little N. The second example, I have a long working day. A long working here. Working here is an adjective. Adjective. Okay. I have a long working day. A long, long is an adjective. A long working day. I have a long working day. Used as an adjective. And the last example, I don't like dancing. Dancing here is what is a verb. Dancing here is a verb. Verb. V. As you, I am going. I am going to use. Yes, I'm going to write what you call up. V. The letter V means verb. I don't like dancing. So let us take up. What I just said, we use the NG form with the noun, adjectives, and verb. Smoking is forbidden. I have a long working day. I don't like dancing. Okay, after this, what can we do? When it is used like a noun, when it is used like a noun, it may or may not have an article. What is an article? What is an article? We are going to show you what an article is. Marketing is a very inexact, an exact sense. Here you can see we have an article. Here we have an article. The marketing of the product will continue for a few months yet. That means that we can use the energy with a noun. Without an article. Or if you want, we can use with a, an article. Marketing is a very inexact science. We have not an article. And the second example, the marketing of the product will continue for a few months yet. Here we have an article. It can also be part of a noun phrase. A noun phrase means what? A noun phrase. Speaking to our agents. All this is a noun phrase. Speaking to an audience is always stressful. Or oh, swimming after work. Swimming after work is a phrase, a non phrase here. Swimming after work is very relaxing. Okay, if you take up what we have just said, we can use an article with the, the noun. Marketing is very, is very in exact science. The marketing of the product will, not, will continue for a few months yet. And it can be part of non phrase. We take a noun and we add something else. It can be part of non phrase. Speaking of annoyance is always stressful. Another example swimming after work is very relaxing. Okay. In formal English, in formal English, we would use a possessive with ing form. Possessive, a possessive, what is it? A possessive, I will show you what possessive is. Uh, in informal English, many people do not. I'm angry about dismissing the meeting. Here, his is a possessive. I'm angry about his missing the meeting. His is a possessive. Okay. And uh, do you mind my coming? Here, my, my is a possessive. Do you mind my coming? Okay. 
As an adjective, the ing form can be used before a noun. As an adjective, adjective, the ing, the ing form can be used before a noun. Okay, I'm going to give you examples. I was met by a welcoming party. A welcoming party. Here, a welcoming party. Welcome is an adjective. Party is a noun at the airport. I was met by a welcoming party at the airport. Okay. Let's go to this meeting room. Meeting is adjective. Room is a noun. Room is a noun. So we put them together as an adjective. It can be used before a noun. Okay. I was met by a welcoming party at the airport. The second example. Let's go to the meeting room. Here, welcoming party is an adjective with a noun. And meeting room also, meeting room is also what you call adjective and a noun. Okay, let's go ahead. The ing form is used after prepositions. We can use the ing with the prepositions. Here you can see, we can, we, I didn't talk about it, but you will see uh, how can we use the prepositions with the ing form? Before, before leaving, before leaving. If you see the preposition, before is a preposition, before leaving, and we add a comma. This is a comma here. You need to speak to Sarah. After is also a preposition. After discussing with, with her, I've changed my mind. After discussing it with her, I've changed my mind. Okay, here we have what you call prepositions. Before is a preposition and after is a preposition. So after these prepositions, uh, we can add ing to what you call the verb. Okay, so let's continue. Instead of feeling of sorrow for yourself, instead of feeling of sorrow for yourself, do some work. Do some work eh, for charity. Okay, instead of, instead of. So, what's it called? Phrasal verb. Uh, feeling sorry for yourself. Do some work for your charity. Okay. Here, we have to notice some things. You have to notice something. This is very important. Notice that to is used as a proposition. It is followed by the energy form. I don't object to work this Sunday. Here, we have two. To, the meaning of to here is a proposition. To is a proposition. I don't object to working this Sunday. Okay, we go ahead. I'm working, I'm looking forward to seeing to. I'm working forward to seeing him again. I'm sure to working. I'm sure to working long hours. I'm sure to working long hours. Okay, I'm going to take it up. Notice that when to is used as a preposition, it is followed by the energy form. I don't object to working this Sunday. I'm looking forward to seeing him again. I'm used to working long hours. Okay. Here are, there are many, there are many verbs plus energy combinations. Here are some examples. I admit, I admit telling her, I admit telling her, yeah, the verb here and uh, energy. I am meeting, telling her, I appreciate having the race. I appreciate having the race. Okay, I avoid speaking. I avoid speaking to him. I consider blowing, I consider blowing your nerves in public to be wrong. I delete coming. I delete coming until the last possible moment he, he denied telling, he denied telling her. Okay, he did not tell her, I detest going. I detest going to parties. Okay, I enjoy dancing. I enjoy dancing. I feel like having a party. I finished writing the report. I finished writing the report. I've given up going to the gym. 
I can help you. I can help thinking about it. Okay, I'm going to tell you again. I avoid speaking to him. I consider blowing your nose in public to, to be wrong. I delayed coming until the last possible moment. He denied telling her. I detest going to parties. I enjoy dancing. I feel like having a party. I finished writing the report. I've given up going to the gym. I can't help thinking about it. I can't help. I can't imagine. I can't imagine ever leaving, leaving this company. I can't imagine ever leaving this company. I don't mind doing, doing that. He put off talking to her as long as he could. I can't stand drinking beer. I can stand drinking beer. I can stand drinking beer. I can imagine ever leaving this company. I don't mind doing that. He puts off talking to her as long as he could. I can't stand drinking beer. Okay, we can give more examples about it, but I'm feeling that it is important for us to stay here. Okay, some verbs can be followed by either the infinitive or energy form put with different meanings. That means that if you use the energy form with any verbs, and we have also the energy form or we use the infinitive we have two differences you have to put this in mind but but with different different meaning some verbs can be followed by either the infinitive or ing form but with different meanings here are some examples i stopped smoking last month i stopped smoking here we have ing i stopped smoking last month the means that I no longer smoke. I have stopped smoking. Okay. I stopped to smoke. I stopped to smoke. Here you have to smoke a cigarette. I stopped what I was doing and I had a cigarette. I stopped to smoke a cigarette. Is it that I stopped? Maybe I'm doing something. I stopped what I was doing and had a cigarette. I remember telling him, I remember telling him, telling him, a memory of the past, a memory of the past. I remember telling him, a memory of the past. I must remember to, to, to tell him, I must remember tell him something to remember in the future. Something to remember in the future. Okay. I'm interested in finding out more details. This means what? Interested about the future. This is the future. Okay. I was interested to, 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 here we are to, to the reports. Interested in the past. Okay. I'm interested in, the fi in finding out more details about the future here we are talking about the future i was interested to read this report to read to read instead in the past i was interested was interested we are not talking about the, the present or the future but the past okay apart from this we can have some verbs some verbs can be followed by either the infinitive or ing form but with the same meaning we can use some verbs followed by either the infinitive the infinitive of two or the ing form we add to the verb but with the same meaning okay here are some common ones i love to go shopping i love to go shopping and I love going shopping, going shopping, to go, to go, to go shopping, and I love going, going, going shopping. Here the meaning, we have the same meaning. I love to go shopping, and I love going shopping. They are the same meaning. And I'm afraid to fly. I'm afraid to fly. I'm afraid of flying. Here to fly, fly, 
to two here is infinity form and flying ing form your ing form here but the meaning is the same i'm afraid to fly i'm afraid of flying they are the same meaning okay i started to learn english five years ago i started to learn to learn to learn english five years ago here i started learning i started learning english five years ago here too we have the same meaning we use we may use infinity form or the energy form to give the same meaning of some verbs okay today what you are young to see i have told you that our lesson was on the energy form we are explain more i think that you have understood what yaya said and I, in the coming lesson, I will explain more about this and give you more exercises. So you have to learn this. And if you have uh, some comments or you have some questions, you can write them down when we meet the next courses. Uh, you, you may ask and I will give you the examples or more details about this. Uh, by now, uh, take care of yourselves. Uh, you know that we are in coronavirus process. You are taking yourself, take care of yourself and your families. Goodbye for the next coming lesson.